We ask as we go into your word, open our eyes, open our understanding. Give us light so our hearts can see your beauty and your glory. Let there be liberty experience, awesome transformation by your help and mercy. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to God. All right. So we're going to our study today. We continue the study on uh, Thanksgiving. And um, today is Wednesday. And our study is focusing on the sacrifice. Okay, we're good. Genesis in chapter number four, and I'm going to read verse one to verse five. And Adam knew his wife, and she conceived and bare Cain, and said, I've gotten a man from the Lord. All right, so Cain was received from the Lord. And again, and she again bare his brother, Abel. And Abel was a keeper of sheep, and Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground an offering unto the Lord. He brought some grains. And Abel, he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof. You, you can see, they said Cain brought the fruit of the ground. There was no adjective describing what he brought. But the one that Abel brought had at least one adjective defining it. He brought firstlings of his fourth flock and of the fat one, that's the second adjective, fat thereof. And the Lord had respect unto Abel and his offering, but unto Cain and his offering had he, he had not respect. And Cain was very wrought. Glory to God. I'll read the devotional because of time. The journey of praise to God has evolved over the centuries and decades. In the early times when Cain and Abel were told to bring uh, an offering of appreciation to God, it was a sacrificing of harvest from the means of their livelihood. So Cain brought from his harvest of grains, and Abel brought from his harvest of flock. Cain lacked the heart of appreciation. That was what Cain lacked. So in these Thanksgivings that we're going to start on Sunday 11th, and we're going to get into it for 21 days, you must make sure that appreciation and gratitude comes from your heart. I always say, give thanks until you feel gratitude rising from your heart to God. Very important. Cain lacked the heart of appreciation and gratitude and brought just something from his harvest. Abel, however, with a heart of gratitude and appreciation to God, brought out the best of his harvest, brought out of the best of his harvest an offering to God. God accepted Abel and his sacrifice and rejected Cain and his sacrifice. So what are we saying here? We're saying the, 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 these two people's offerings were offered. Somebody's offering was accepted. He and his offering were accepted. The other person, he and his offerings were rejected. All right? Now, we need to understand that our worship, which, is, which starts with thanksgivings, all right, has to either be accepted or rejected and then when it comes to this they accept the person and his offering not just his offering if the person is rejected his offering cannot be accepted if the person is accepted his offering will be accepted all right 
and it's very very important for us to learn this this thing the lesson here is to make sure that your thanksgivings is with the heart of gratitude otherwise it will not reflect in what you give to god you know because if your heart is filled with gratitude there's a way you will offer and there is the quality you will offer there's a way you're i mean if you're told to cook and serve somebody who they just mentioned uh, so so and so is coming to the house who is he uh, well it's just uh, one of those guys that lived in our area when 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 i was young there's a way you will prepare for that person you understand but if suddenly you are told uh, so so and so is coming to just uh, who is he ah that's the person all the contracts that have brought me big money this house that we built that's the person that took me there and make sure they gave me that thing you know there's a way you're going to prepare for that person why because you have already heard what the person has done so with the art of appreciation you prepare for that person specially so the quality of presentation is affected by the state of the heart the appreciation in the heart the gratitude of the heart all right so it's very very important for us to understand this lesson gratitude determines what we offer all right what we give to god give to god with a heart of gratitude always why because your father is the father that accepts only quality now sometimes we say oh you know the blood of jesus will help us to present whatever we are presented and all that he has to say that but let me tell you this the truth is still that his standard is his standard it doesn't change Yes, the blood may come a lot of times to plead mercy for us and stand for us and all that. But that doesn't mean that he has reduced his standard. He didn't reduce his standard. The blood only comes to plead mercy because we didn't meet standard. So why don't we just meet standard? When it comes to worship, praise, thanksgivings, God wants quality. He told them in Malachi, the priest, he said, if I am your father, where is my honor? If I'm your governor, your king, where is my reverence? Where is it? You bring the animal that is blind to sacrifice. Go and give that to your governor now and let's see whether he will accept your person. You give the animal that is lame, his legs are cut off, his ears are chopped off, are chopped off and you say, oh, this one we can't sell him in the market. Nobody's going to buy it. For so let's go and give that to God as sacrifice. It does not accept anything that is not quality. And the only way you can give your father quality is you must make sure appreciation rises and gratitude rises from your heart to him. Very, very important. Give to God with a heart of gratitude always. Whether it is a sacrifice of things, that means if you're giving money, yes, we're going to be giving uh, uh, offering during these Thanksgiving days every day. Give quality. Don't just give anything. Give out of the heart of gratitude. You understand? And make sure, uh, make sure your focus is God. <laughs> if you make my your focus, your quality will be low. Are you getting what I'm saying? You know, I remember somebody was saying, you know, they were saying, ah, your tight and they, they were talking about discussing about tight. They said, ah, he said, my tight. He said, if I give my tithe to my church, my church will be too rich. So, you see, the person is seeing his church as the one receiving the tithe, not God. So, his problem is, what, what would this tiny church do with such huge money? The pastor will just be living a flamboyant life. And it's because that church also does have structure. Because once the money comes in, the pastor just carry it, put it in his pocket. <laughs> Glory to God. But you see, it, it, it's God. The, the sacrifice is to God. We'll be looking at that also a little bit further tomorrow. How the world is trying to get people into this gratitude thing without focusing on God. We'll look at that more detailly tomorrow. So whether it is sacrifice of things or the sacrifice of our lips, giving thanks to him. What you give in substance must, be, must express your gratitude and what you offer with your lips must express your heart of gratitude. The gratitude level is what touches God and it is what draws power from God into your situations. There are two ways 
to to steer and to cause your gratitude level to ascend to where it's supposed to be when you offer thanksgivings to God. It is either by starting and continuing to give thanks consciously with your heart unto your heart, enters it, enters it and begins to express the emotion of love and gratitude to God. What that simply means is this. How do we get into that gratitude frequency in thanksgivings? You see, you can be thanking God. Father, I thank you. I thank you. I thank you for everything. I thank you. Yeah, I thank you. I really thank you. Hmm. I thank you for everything. Thank you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. No, 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 no. Put your mind to it. Father, I thank you for the privilege to be alive. I know that I will not be alive if you have not kept me. I know that if you have led me to the will of my enemies, I'll be a mad boy somewhere, mad man dead. I'll be one crazy fellow. I thank you for bringing me into the kingdom. I thank you for arresting me the time you took me and brought me into your house, into your love, into your mercy, into your protection, into your goodness. Lord, I'm grateful. You must put your mind to it. And when you put your mind to it like that and you begin to consciously remember things to thank him for, I thank you for my wife. Thank you for giving me a good woman. Thank you for my children. Thank you. You begin to thank him. Then after a while, your heart also gets into it. Before you know it, you begin to feel the, 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 the emotion of gratitude and appreciation. That's really where it is. That emotion of gratitude and appreciation. When you enter it, then you are there then you are offering true thanksgivings to him. All right? You thank him until your heart enters it and begins to express the emotion of love and gratitude to God. The second way is to take out time for some few minutes to reflect on each thing God has done for you. That's another way. You begin to reflect on the things God has done for you. You begin to think over it until you begin to feel gratitude stare in your heart to him and then you begin to give him thanks you give him to bless his name you begin to exalt him all right god accepts our thanksgivings when we sincerely express gratitude from our heart for all he has done for us pray with me and say father i receive grace to offer true thanksgivings to you from the heart of appreciation and gratitude in the name of Jesus. Pray that in the Holy Ghost and speak into your day. And if today is your birthday, please get into the comments and begin to type in there so we can pray with you this morning. Arika Papuskufia de Kalanzo, Jaba, speak into your day. Say these few words with me. Say in the name of Jesus, I am the healed because Jesus took my infirmities and bore my sicknesses. I am the secured for I and all that are mine dwell in the secret place of the Most High under the shadow of the Almighty. No evil can befall us, no plague. Can come near our dwelling in the name of Jesus. I declare in the name of Jesus, I am the favored one, for the Lord surrounds me with favor as a shield. I excel in all that I do. I go out blessed, I come in blessed in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to God. Hallelujah. All right.